Welcome back to Sin City Prepping. Today we're going to show you an easy way to add to your food preps. Now, you don't have to be a member to shop here, but the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints operates food storage centers all over the nation. The church is always taught to have an emergency food supply, and this is just one way that they help people out. Let's go check it out. Well, here we are at the Home Storage Center. This is run by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It's very simple. Let's show you how to do it. Come on in. <laughs> There's usually a couple lovely ladies that would love to help you up front. And this is the room. So there's a couple, uh, you can just grab a cart and then you can buy, buy the can. These are 10 cans, number 10 cans. Or then they also have cases. It's the same price whether, well it's the same price per each item, whether you get the case or the can. Uh, they don't accept cash. It's card only, but uh, there is no tax either. And then I'll show you, they have a whole list of everything that they offer. And if you don't live close to one, then you can also, they ship online. They sell the lids for after you open them up. And then they also sell these boxes which makes them really easy to store these cans. They usually hold six cans in each box. You've got the hard red wheat berries and the hard white wheat. So if you're milling your own flour to make bread, and look at the prices here. On their sheet, it's very convenient. And even on the cans, it'll tell you exactly how long it lasts as well. So we're gonna find a couple things to pick up and then we're gonna get out of here. And this is some of their centers. All right, you ready to pick something out? Yeah. <laughs> Here's what we picked up today. I'm gonna to try substituting some hard white wheat in my bread that I make. Uh, currently I've been using the hard red wheat. This one is a little lower in protein, but it's supposed to be a little sweeter also. Uh, when I get the cans, I just mark on them the, the year, and then the packaging on these changed a little bit. Usually it used to say 30 years right here, and now it's in the small writing on the side. So I just put it here just so you could look at it and see. And then for cases, if I have a whole case, I'll just mark it up here on the outside, like the milk's good for 20 years, and then the year that I bought it. And then some of the cases are mixed, so I'll just label what they are on the outside, the same thing, how many years, and then the year that I bought it. And so this would be a couple things. Forever, we couldn't find onions here, so thanks mom and dad for Necessary cans of onions. Well, that's all I have today. I hope you got something out of this. Get on over to a food center and get some food. It tastes great, it's cheap, and it might just help you one day. Now, remember, you can go online under Provident Living, search your area, and see if they have a food center near you. I'd love to hear in the comments if you've been to a food center before. Be safe, keep prepping. No one cares.